Hi, in this video, we are going to continue the case study of First Presbyterian Church of Singapore, Tennessee. We are going to design a um, um, web user interface, and um, we approach this by doing prototyping using Adobe Fireworks. And this, um, this is the first of a series of videos we are going to create the index file, which is the, um, the template that we are going to use for our web page. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. List of the um, references for this video can be found on this website. Please take note it's case sensitive. And the website is open here. So we have already sketched our web interface. And all the files that we use for this video can be found in my C drive web design. So because I am we are doing the, doing this step by step. So we have created the sketches. The sketches, the sketch can be downloaded from here, and the color palette can be downloaded from here, which can be found in my CTAM web design. Let me open up, open up the sketch file. And this is the final final sketch we're going to use. As you can see here, it is uh, 980 times 700 pixels, and we are going to design a prototype prototype that looks something like this. We have created a color palette and we are going to open it in fireworks and this is the main color we are going to use. So the next thing we are going to do is to create a file in fireworks that um, we are going to use. So let us do a file new and um, we are doing a 980 times 700 pixels. Of course, the matching number for web design is always 960. <coughs> Normally, people do a 960 times 600 template, but I'm doing a 980 times 700 just to push the limit a little bit. 72 pixels per inch, and the background is the color we want for. And the background is the color we want. So, um, so we need to find out the color of the background. So I need to choose the palette color, which is the one we decided. So as you can see, I'm using my um, eyedropper to choose a palette color. Okay, so I have a new file that is uh, 980 times 700 pixels. Of course, I do not need a guide right now, so let me switch off the guide, the, the grid. Let me switch off the grid. Okay, my grid is gone. And now let me save the file. I'm going to do a file save. I'm going to save it into my CTAM web design. Design prototype. And I'm going to save the file as index. Because the first first page of the website is index. So that is my index. Okay, so I have a file to work with. And now I'm going to try to create a file that's going to look like this in terms of the basic layout. <clears throat> so So first, I make sure that my rulers are on. Those rulers are on. So I can measure them in terms of pixels. And next, I'm going to draw some um, guides. Okay. So make sure your guide is uh, show guide and snap to guide. 
make sure they are turned on and the third thing I'm going to create my guidelines okay so the first guideline I want is from the top okay so obviously there will be one guideline of 80 pixels But other than that 80 pixels guideline, I also need a couple of guidelines here for the text and everything. Okay, so let's create that. So let me create a guideline at 80 pixels first. Okay, so if you double click on it, you can see that this is the position is at 80 pixels from the top. You can just drag on the ruler. If you want to get rid of it, you just drag, drag it out, you can get rid of it. So that's the first guide we created for 80. Okay, but we need a couple more for this and that, so we are just going to create those as well. So I will need one at 15. So let's say it's very difficult to fix it at 15, you want to fix it at 15, but you cannot do it, you can always double click on it and then key in 15. So that will appear at 15 and the next one you need is at 22 okay and the next one you need is 40 Of course, I'm doing the video, I'm doing this really fast because I know what I want. When you're doing it, probably you have to really measure and then draw something and change. And then the next one is 64. Okay, so we created a guide for the stuff here. So as you can see, I have a 15 here and 22 and so on and so forth. Okay, so the next one is 220. We will draw the 220 and then we'll see if we need any guides here. Okay, so let's drag 220. Okay, so that will cover the the banner 235, I think. Oops, 315 and So we have done 315, 330, and then 345 here. 635, so on. 345. Six three five, which is this one. And then six fifty.
Okay, we need a couple of more just to We need a couple more. Um, although we, although we um we almost done, but we need a couple more just to create lines here and things like that. Okay, so we need one at um. 652. We need one at 666. 681. And six ninety-eight. Okay, these are the horizontal um, horizontal guides. Okay, so the vertical guides. You need a couple of vertical guides. You can drag it from here, and then you can remove it by dragging it out. So we will need um, definitely we need forty here and forty here, okay. And then we need guys here for the small images and so on and so forth. All right, but uh, for that one we are going to do it in the next video. So save your work, and uh, we'll carry on to create the guys for the. We are going to carry on to create the vertical guides in the next video. Thank you for watching.